this is your first film, and they tend to be very personal. How is this one personal? Uh, it's personal because I'm talking about uh, something that seems very, you know, coded in me, sort of genetic um, element that I seem to carry within me, and that's the story of uh, the destruction of uh, my family. So, in this way, it's personal, I guess. Your family or members of your family died in Auschwitz. Yeah, I mean, the reason I, why I really, I don't really have a family is because I, uh, because they were killed. I remember that I read somewhere that you were told about the deaths in your family when you were five or six years old. Is yeah. that true? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, my mother didn't want to spare me, so they, she transmitted, you know, everything she knew in great detail about she, her knowledge was still limited you know as, as uh, compared to uh, to uh, to what these people had to go through but at least some some fragments of it are you a little bit angry about that she did no i think Never? she did the right thing yeah yeah because you see when you want to spare people you don't really make make it for the better you actually, uh, I think it's better if, if people know, as opposed to people not knowing. True. Even if it hurts, if, 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 even if it's painful, at least it's told, it's there. Even if you're five? Even if you're five. The Zona Commandos were a very special group in uh, in a few concentration extermination camps in Auschwitz. For uh, they played a you know important part in making the, the extermination machine uh, you know working. Uh, they have were forced. Uh, and to work in the extermination machine in the crematorium. Uh, they were separated from the rest of the camp and, uh, and they knew they would be executed at some point because they, were, they knew too much. They were the bearers of secret. And these people, some of these people actually uh, make, made writings uh, in secret during, you know, in, in 1944. And uh, they they wrote down about you know things about their everyday lives and uh, and 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 it's an incredible document uh, and it gave me as a reader the possibility to go into the very present of their extermination machine and to be with them in a way. Doctor, Kira. My dear wife. Not to come. We follow one of the Sonder Commando. We see what he sees, but it's blurred. Yeah. Why? What I wanted to make is the portrait of a man. You know, you cannot, I say in this film, you cannot reproduce the entire experience of the of the camp you cannot show the the entire camp you it's too um, it's too unimaginable in a way you know what happened to the human being the dehumanization of the human being that was taking place is very hard to understand in a if we, when you show it in a very frontal way so what i say with this film is that the only thing you can show is the face of a man that's, that's the man, our main character, who guides us 
through his journey and uh, along the, the quest that's his. And uh, it gives the reference, the measure of a man, the, the measure of one individual. And, and you have the fragments of everything that's going on. But it actually, by doing this, we convey something intuitive about the uh, experience of the individual, the limitations of the individual. In a sense, the viewer is limited as the individual was, was limited in, in the camp. We did, you know, you don't know what's going to happen. You don't see everything. You don't, uh, you have a, you're in a frenzy, you're in a state of lack of information. It's something that cinema can do and we, we try to, by this approach, to, to, um, to use the imagination of the viewer uh, to recreate something in their minds rather than showing them. Herr Oberscharführer. Und? Wie viele sind noch zu warten? 1000, Herr Oberscharführer. 1000? 1000. Heute Nacht kommen noch dreimal so viel. Ich werde euch jetzt mal erzählen, wie die Geschichte hier weitergeht. Bis zum Morgengrauen sind wir mit der Sache durch. Jede Runde zwei Männer, eine Frau und ein Kind. Asche raus, alle zwei Runden, alle zwölf Minuten lüften. Du bist mir für alles verantwortlich, verstanden? Jawohl, Herr Oberscharführer. Und wenn er mit der Sache durch seid, alles gründlich reinigen und desinfizieren, es kommt noch weitere Behandlungen. Wegtretern! Were there taboos in tackling the Holocaust? I mean, the Holocaust is becoming a sort of myth, uh, a sort of static something, you know? Some kind of... Uh, a fantasy world, it seems. That's, that's, if, that's what's communicated in films. It's very remote from our experience. It's very, it, but at the same time, it's... Um, but you mean Schindler's List was a fantasy world? No, I mean, I mean, um, I'm not specifically talking about Schindler's no, List, no, but a lot, of, a lot of the time you have films that, uh, in, the, in the, the ways they communicate colors or, or uh, or you know the visuals, uh, or the 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 fact when they uh, over aestheticize um, uh, the suffering, they kind of become sort of a, a remote experience that are that are um, you know take some pleasure in, in in viewing the suffering, you know, and and we wanted to on the contrary to reproduce the sort of human existence within this factory which produces you know, that, that people, obviously. But, but be, to be as low-key and simple and primitive as possible, we wanted to, to create a sort of raw experience.